Do you guys want to grow tomatoes or do you want to grow tomatoes? Today we're talking about growing tomatoes healthier with less pests and disease, more nutrition, more flavor, and a longer shelf life. All by giving the plant what it needs organically to thrive. And at the end of today's episode, we're going to be revealing the winner of the $300 Neptune's Harvest Fertilizer Package giveaway. It's an exciting episode. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, I'm Brian with California Garden TV, and if you are looking to join an online garden community that offers tips, tricks, and support to grow your best garden ever, then start now by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's get growing. Today, guys, we are hitting the bricks. Now, not the bricks, the bricks. Bricks is the measurement of the percentage of sugar and minerals in a plant. The higher the bricks content or the higher the bricks measurement, the healthier the plant. Now a healthier plant means less pests and disease, more flavorful fruit, more nutrition for the people eating that fruit, and it's going to last longer. I mean, what more could you ask for? Now higher bricks levels indicate that the plant has been grown in a healthy soil full of all the trace minerals and nutrients and microorganisms that create the perfect, perfect situation for a plant to thrive. Now, did you know about bricks? I didn't even know about it until last week. So if this is something new that you're learning right now, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. Now there are two things you need to know about how to reach the maximum bricks level. And one is something we can all do right now. And one is something that some of us can do right now and hopefully all of us later. Now the thing that some of us can do right now and hopefully everyone a little bit later is to add our own homemade organic compost to the garden. Now if you need help on doing that, I did a video back I think in November I'll put a link down below on how to five steps I think it was to create the best compost. So definitely get started on that now because you'll want to add it in the fall and it'll be ready for you at that time. Now compost, as I've said before, doesn't necessarily feed the plants. It feeds the soil. It feeds all the beneficial um, microorganisms that live there. And those microorganisms are responsible for a lot of things, but most importantly, taking the nutrients out of the soil, and giving it to your plants. Now, the more you have, the better. Um, but not only does it add the middlemen that do all the work, it actually uh, increases the organic matter in the soil. So it's much more water retentive and it's a lot lighter and airier for the plant's root systems. Now, the thing that we can all do right now is to add the right trace elements and nutrients to the soil that are going to help the plant all the way through the season in every stage of its growth cycle. Now, since I'm an organic gardener, and hopefully you are too, we can't rely on perfectly engineered chemical fertilizers. Now, I've been using fish and kelp in the garden for years, and it is the perfect uh, organic complete fertilizer. Now, the two combined, fish and seaweed, create a complete fertilizer that gives the plant everything it needs for every cycle of growth from, you know, starting out as a seedling to healthy stems, strong stems, leaves, um, flowering and fruiting, and then even, you know, making a good viable batch of seeds for next year. So let's go through these two a bit, the fish and the seaweed, um, and find out really what the benefits are and why you need to be applying them in two different ways. Now, as far as fish fertilizers, there are two kinds. One is a fish emulsion, and one is a hydrolyzed fish fertilizer. Now, the fish emulsion is what I used to use, and that is basically uh, decomposed fish that is ground up, and then it is baked or, or cooked to kill all of the microorganisms. Now, if you've had fish fertilizer and it has a really strong, intense fish odor, most likely that is fish emulsion. It's very strong. 
and the scent lasts for more than 24 hours. Now, fish emulsion is also a very strong form of fertilizer. And uh, if you add too much, just like manure, it will burn your plants. Now, after min many years of using fish emulsion, I found out that I prefer hydrolyzed fish fertilizer. For one, it won't burn your plants. It's much milder. And uh, basically what it is, is it's ground up fish that is digested with enzymes and it's a cold process. So it doesn't involve heat or cooking. So all of the beneficial microbes and nutrients are all maintained. They are not damaged through a heating process. Now a big thing out there and actually something I was gonna try and then I decided against it because it's kind of like the same thing. Um, hydrolyzed fish actually preserves all of the amino acids, the natural growth hormones, all of the good things in a fish. And so when people bury a fish under a tomato, this is basically the same thing. It's really easy for the plant to take up into its root system. And unlike fish emulsion, it does not have that powerful knock you over fish smell. There is a smell as in all organic fertilizers, um, but it dissipates once the once it's put onto the uh, plants within maybe an hour or so. It's also a great food source for all of the microorganisms that are already in your soil. Now, seaweed has a cell structure that filters seawater and it collects the ocean's rich and varied nutrients. Due to this constant filtration, kelp can grow up to three feet a day. Seaweed collects over 70 trace minerals that are essential for plant health. And it's loaded with potassium that um, tomatoes especially need in abundance. Now for years, I have used and recommended Neptune's Harvest fish and seaweed formula. Um, it is a hydrolyzed fish and it's got the added benefit of seaweed. Until this year when I found out about their tomato and veg formula. So basically it's the, it's the uh, fish and seaweed blend of the product I've used forever, except they've added some things that bump it up to just an incredible product that I, when I was looking into it, it really blew me away. There's three ingredients that they added that take this product to a whole nother level. So I'm gonna go through those three ingredients just so you know um, why I'm gonna be using this product on all my vegetables from now on. Now, the first of those three ingredients um, I've actually bought separately and applied for years, and that is molasses. Molasses is about 5% potassium. Now, like I mentioned, tomatoes need a lot of potassium, especially when they are flowering and fruiting. And so that's where this comes in really well. Now, the microbes in the soil eat the sugar from the molasses and it allows them to expand like crazy. Now, the more microorganisms you have in the soil, the better your plant is gonna uptake all the other nutrients that you're giving it. And what's great about more microbes as well is it allows you to have more plants in a smaller space. And I think most of us are probably looking for something like that. Now, the second ingredient they've added is humate. And humate is something we get from compost. Humate is the carbon rich matrix of fully decomposed organic matter. You know how the best compost is the blackest? The blacker the better, and that blackness is created from humate. It improves the soil structure, it improves the nutrient value, it improves the root system, it really builds the soil, just like compost. Now the third ingredient is yucca extract. Yucca extract is a natural wetting agent, and that helps the moisture and the water and the nutrients um, soak deeper into the root zone. Now tomatoes love water and they use a ton of it, especially in the hot weather. And so this is gonna help keep that moisture in the soil at a very consistent level, because when you have inconsistency in moisture level in the soil, you're gonna end up with cracking fruit. Now, if you've ever had this situation, it's probably because, it's mainly because of uh, uneven watering. Plant dries out, and then all of a sudden you water it and it swells up with as much water as it can take in at one time. And just like people, when they gain too much weight at once, they're gonna get stretch marks. And that's what you're gonna see on the tomatoes. Now there are two ways that you need to apply this product 
um, because all of these ingredients work two different ways. The first way, of course, is soaking the soil. You dilute it, just like the bottle says, soak the soil, and that's gonna feed the plant from the root level. The second way is by foliar feeding. And you can do this a couple different ways. You can mix this uh, in like a sprayer that you would spray neem oil or something else on your plants, or you can have a hose end sprayer and mix it the way that the bottle says and spray. Uh, that's actually the better way because you're getting the leaves and the soil all at one time. Now, in doing that, the plant is going to take in the nutrients right into the leaves themselves. But you wanna do this in the morning as early as you can because all through the night, the pores in the leaves open up to accept the dew um, all night long. And then once the, the warmth of the day starts, they close those pores to keep water from escaping through evaporation. And then in the evening, they open it again. Now, technically you could spray in the evening as well, but uh, plants don't like to be wet, overly wet all night long. So if you do it as early as you can in the morning, then it gives them the day to dry out, but the pores in the morning are still open to accept all that good stuff. So for all of those reasons, for all of those ingredients, that is why this is now my number one go-to. This is all I'm gonna be feeding my uh, vegetable garden with throughout the year. Now I have the 5% link down below, so you get 5% off at Neptune's Harvest. I've already heard from so many of you who um, have already been using Neptune's Harvest for a long time and absolutely love it as much as I do. So I'm in a huge uh, fan club for Nep Neptune's Harvest. So back to the bricks. All of these nutrients are going to raise the bricks levels in our plants. Now, bricks levels are measured with a refractometer. Now you guys know how much I love to experiment in the garden. And so this is the perfect experiment for me. I'm gonna be buying a refractometer and I am going to be, once the tomatoes are ripening and all of the plants in the garden are ripening, I am going to test the bricks levels of the plants. But I'm also going to take a couple of tomatoes and plant them elsewhere, same soil, but I'm not gonna feed them with all of these nutrients. I'm gonna use a regular organic fertilizer that's like you know blood, bone, feathers, all of that. And I'm gonna see at the end of this if all of this really does raise those bricks levels and give us all those incredible benefits that having high bricks levels uh, gives us. So that'll be fun to watch out for. Okay, are you guys ready to find out the winner of the giveaway? I know I am. This has been so exciting. Um, it's a $300 fertilizer package from Neptune's Harvest. Uh, real quick, if you guys, I, I really appreciate Neptune's Harvest doing this for us. And if you haven't done so already, could you go over and follow them on Facebook and Instagram? Show them some love. This is a really cool thing they did. Okay, so I have all the names entered into my laptop into a, like a random name picker. And I entered all of the Instagram names because some people could have the same first and last name, uh, but no one can have the same Instagram name. So that's how we're gonna do this. I've got all the Instagram names of you that entered and there were over 1500 of you guys that entered. That's pretty amazing. So uh, we're gonna spin the wheel. I'm gonna turn the camera around here so you can watch and we'll find out who the winner is. Drum roll please. Joyful Living 63. All right, awesome, awesome. Okay, Joyful Joyful Living 63. I'm gonna email you um, to the email address you entered with and basically contact you to get your shipping information. I'm gonna pass that on to Neptune's Harvest and they'll get you out your $300 fertilizer package. Congratulations. I wanna thank everyone who entered. I want to thank Neptune's Harvest again. I've got all the links to the products that I use down below uh, with the 5% discount and free shipping to the contiguous United States. As always, I hope you guys had a lot of fun, learned something, and let's all congratulate Joyful Living 63. I'm going to be putting together some more giveaways uh, in the near future, so stay tuned for those. We'll have different requirements, so maybe some of you that don't have Instagram, 
you'll be able to participate in the next few. Um, we might actually have several winners uh, in those giveaways. So again, I hope you had a great time. I know I did, and I will see you guys on Friday.